Welcome to the ninth video in Indie Resources, how to make a browser-based MWorg. This is Halls of Valhalla. Uh, basically, we're going to start making things a little more fun. I know this game is kind of boring right now. I want to start adding some cool features to it. Let's have a little bit of fun with this. So that's kind of what we're going to start doing from here. We're going to go ahead and add classes and locations. Locations isn't going to be that big, but the, the classes will be a cool little feature. And we're going to add spell points. So the next video, we can actually start doing magic and, and having magic in our game. Uh, the first thing I did is on our login page. I went ahead and added a not registered register and to show you what I did if you open up login I have all these open because we're fixing to get into all of them but I added this line right here not registered and then a referral to the register.php and if, you, if we click on it it brings us to our register.php and uh, you'll now see this is new we actually have a drop down box with these classes that are pretty basic classes but you know you guys can add whatever you want it doesn't matter I'm just using some basic ones and then a little table here that says what each class gets you know a warrior gets attack of eight defense of eight uh, wizard gets four and four and then how many hit points and the spell points and these I just made up you can add whatever you want there I just kinda put a small balance there so to get started let's go into our register.php and all this is what you should have right now so everything below this line is new uh, the first thing I did we want to do is we want to make a we're gonna start with PHP we're gonna do a select name equals class choice length of 20 the select name is this right here and then what we're gonna do is, is we need to fill that select name with values and the, I want to get those values from an actual database what I, what I did was is so we can add classes at any time or delete classes which of course you wouldn't eh, wouldn't really matter if you did or not but so we can continue to add them and build the game I actually added made a new table called classes let me go ahead and click on it and this new table is going to hold all of the class information and if you see here I've let me go into structure so you guys can see how I built it. Basically just make a new table, call it classes. It's going to have one, two, three, four, five fields. The fields are name, it's a var care of 30, attack, small energy of 3, defense, small energy of 3, because I don't suspect anybody's going to get over a thousand uh, attack or defense. Same with hit points, small energy of 3, and if they do then we can just come back easily and just change that to 4 or 5 or whatever. When we feel like the players are getting that far, and you can go ahead and do that now. You can go ahead and make it 6 or 7 if you feel like that you want your stats to go that high. And then S points stands for, for spell points. And if we go back to browse, I just basically went through and I just put, I just went to insert and enter, inserted my information, what I wanted. That's all. Uh, if we go back to, to here, so we're actually selecting all from classes, and this is a standard query, uh, and then we're going to do a while, my MySQL fetch array, while there's something in class info 3, then it's going to print it in the option right here, and that's actually what brings up this right here. It's printing all those in the op option. You can just kind of, it's, it's real simple, so you can just kind of read it, and then I'm going to end our, end our select. The next thing I want to do is I want to print our table. And something, uh, let's see, okay. Uh, on our table, we have where it says class uh, starting modifiers. And then I kind of made a table, and you can read through that. And then select class, I just did a select all from classes. I made a table border, I made the table, and you guys already know how this works. Uh, you just read through it, and it, it should be pretty simple to you now. Uh, the you know the name matches up with the name and that's that's all I did to make the table it's really really simple um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to create a new person and let's make a assassin and we'll go to our login page and now let's go ahead and test this players just to make sure all our data went in properly. One thing that you must do before you do this is we need to add uh, S points. We need to go into our players table. We need to add S points for, for a field and if you just go to structure and then it down here under structure it will say add two new, two new fields. You just add two new fields. S points and max S points and that way you can see here with 
Paul's, it, it went ahead and entered in all that information. The max S looks like I added one too many max S points, so I'll go ahead and take that out. Uh, let's go back to players. But let's go ahead and while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and go to reg user because that's actually where it's going to store what we've done. And reg users, I believe, yeah, everything new is right here. So basically what I did was is now I'm transfer transferring this post class choice, which was sent from register, which was right here. This is sending what, what I decide to pick. When I hit the submit button, whatever is in that box is going to sent, be sent to reg user. And we're just going to make a PHP variable that's going to accept that. And that's going to be class choice. And then so now we're going to do a query, select all from classes where name equals class choice. We have to query it again. You could pass all these variables to this, to, to this, but for right now I'm not going to do that. This is just easier if I go ahead and do another query when it gets here. And this is your standard query. And then what we're going to do is we're going to insert into players. This, should, this is all the same. The only thing new that I added was our uh, S points and max S points. Also, whenever we choose our attack, whenever we put that information in there, we want the classes information. So what we did was we took uh, select all from classes where name equals class choice. In my case it was an assassin. So select all from classes where name equals assassin and then it's going to take that assassin data for attack and put it in my class. And defense, hit points, uh, the max hit points of course is going to be the standard hit point, and S points and your max S points. So that's basically all it, all it did. It was real simple because it's just taking that data from the from the actual uh, class list and putting it in there and the reason why I made that class table is so later on if you want to add new classes you just go in and add them in the in the table up there and it automatically puts them in your list you don't have to go in and continue to add them to you don't even have to touch the code ever again because it'll automatically go into the database query all the classes and add them in there for you uh, and I actually need to delete I need to go to structure and like I was saying before, whenever you uh, go to add your S points and max S points, you just do it here. You just put in two fields and go in, but you guys already know that. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this line right here.